In this video, we will install Skilearn or Skikitlearn in our JupyterLab notebook and create a machine learning project. So first, let's create a project. So I'll go to my D drive here and I'll create a new project. Let's call it ML. Once the project is ready, go inside this folder and now we need to create a virtual environment and install Skilearn in that virtual environment and use that virtual environment as our kernel for our Jupyter Notebook. First, let's open Jupyter Lab and see what kernels we have available. So right now, if I click on this new here, as you can see, we have two kernels, BS kernel and Python 3. So what we can do is we can find out where these kernels are and install our Skilearn in these kernels. But what we will do is we will create a new kernel for our this project. So that is the standard practice. So for our project, this brand new project, we will create a brand new kernel and install all the required dependencies for this project in that kernel. So to do that, hold shift and right click and you will get these options. If you're on older windows, you will see open command prompt here. Both PowerShell or command prompt will work. So open those and type this command to create a virtual environment. We can put any name here after we env. You can put, uh, let's say, MLV env. And I just scroll it down here and you can see this is being created. And once the virtual environment is created, the next very important step is to not forget to activate the virtual environment. So to activate it, just type the folder name that we just created, hit tab and inside write sc and hit tab again and then act and hit tab again tab is used to auto complete this stuff and hit enter now and now as you can see venv is activated and now we can install the required dependencies here so i will install ski learn that is pip install kikit learn hit enter and now kikit learn is being installed so as you can see our kikit learn is installed but if I go here, I will still not be able to see the kernel because we have not set up this virtual environment so that it can be used by Jupyter Lab Notebook, a Jupyter Notebook. So I'll go back to my terminal here and we need to install another package so that we can set up that virtual environment for our Jupyter Lab. So I'll type pip install IPY kernel. After IPY kernel is installed, we need to set up IPY kernel so that it can be used as a kernel. So what you need to do is you need to type this command python m i p y kernel install dash dash user dash dash name and we need to set up a username uh, not username we need to set up the name here and this name will be shown in our kernels list here so i'll write key learn key -R -N -E -L, and hit enter and now as you can see it is showing kernel spec is installed in this directory now, if I go back to my Jupyter Notebook and reload this, I click here, as you can see, this is now available and we can use this to create a new notebook and we will have our Skilearn installed in this notebook or in this kernel. So if you want to install any other things for this kernel, you can just activate this virtual environment and install it here and it will be available in this notebook that is using this kernel. So let's try a sample code using Skilearn. This is the sample code. Let's hit enter, control and enter to run this. And now, as you can see, I'm getting error matplotlib is also not found and we also don't have NumPy installed in it. So if you are using sklearn, you will most probably need NumPy and matplotlib too. So we will install that using pip install matplotlib and we will also install pip install NumPy. And now everything is installed. Now let's run this again and it will work. So as you can see, we have created a graph using Scalearn. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.